Let's start off with your decision 2024 coverage this morning of both Ted Cruz and Colin Allred's campaigns claimed victory in last night's debate. The debate aired right here on six news and on the free KCEN six plus app. The two went head to head on everything from abortion access to January 6. Morgan Young recaps. A cordial, almost friendly start to the highly anticipated Texas debate, but jabs from both sides came quickly. We're doing an awful lot right in the state of Texas. Colin Allred wants to change that. I want to keep Texas, Senator. Texas. The first topic of the night was abortion access. He has voted in favor of striking down Texas's law that gives parents the right to be notified and consent. He's voted in favor of striking down Texas's law and legalizing abortion up to and including the eighth and ninth month of pregnancy. That's extreme. Allred denied those claims, hitting back at Cruz's position. I support the protections and the restrictions under Roe, but Senator Cruz just called himself pro-life. You're not. You're not pro-life. It's not pro-life to deny women care so long that they can't have children anymore. Cruz avoided moderator questions about whether he supports exceptions for abortion in cases of rape or incest. Now, I want to ask you again, why is this an issue you want to address about, about <laughs> saying whether you support or oppose Exceptions Jason, like Jason I'm curious, why do you keep asking me that? But, but yet, hold, hold on a second. I've asked Congressman Allred twice about his voting record. On the topic of border security, Cruz touted his record. I worked hand in hand with President Trump to secure the border, and we achieved incredible success. We produced the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. While Allred poked holes in that argument. He comes down, he puts on his outdoor clothes, he tries to look tough. And he goes back to Washington and does nothing to help. There was a tense moment of bickering after Allred questioned Cruz's policy during his time to answer. Oh, no, you can't have my time. But, but well, what I'm saying, no, no, let, let you, 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 you can jump in after me. Yeah, that's let fine. Let him finish his More time. This, is, this, this is not the United States, gentlemen, so I'm not yielding my time. It's fine. Don't, it's fine. Don't, don't, don't ask don't me questions. No, I'm going to ask you a question. You can answer when you have time. Gentlemen. A big moment in the night, Cruz seeming to depart from former President Trump in his stance on pardoning people convicted for their part in the January 6th insurrection. I think anyone who commits an act of violence should be prosecuted and should go to jail. If you assault a police officer, you should go to jail for a very long time. But he qualified his response a few moments later. Should if you are being persecuted for peaceful speech, absolutely you should be pardoned. If you engaged in violence, absolutely not. You should not be pardoned. A sharp response from Allred, who was also at the Capitol that day. I have to say, you can't be for the mob on January 6th and for the officers. You can't. And it's not funny because you're a threat to democracy. The night ended with a handshake similar to how it started, leaving strong stances and statements for voters to consider with Election Day just weeks away. In Dallas, I'm Morgan Young. The debate was exclusive to Six News in the Central Texas area, and if you would like to watch the debate in full, all you have to do is download the free KCEN 6 Plus streaming app. You can find it on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. By the way, early voting does start. Monday, October 21st.